Given the amazing display at the Springfield Armory National Historic Site, it is the perfect backdrop for steampunk weaponry. It's really the place where history and art and technology comes together. As part of the National Historic Site, the collection here touches on virtually all of American history. While Springfield Armory was a factory and an industrial site, it was also home to craftsmen who are skilled in metalwork and woodwork. And this exhibit is a great opportunity to bring that creativity of the past back to life. Having Steampunk Springfield in so many locations around Springfield, Massachusetts, uh, we've been able to involve a lot of different artists. Uh, one of the artists is James Kitchen, who is well known uh, in this area for doing repurposing art. What I really like about the Steampunk exhibit is it allows me, the historical part of it, is to go back and think 100, 150 years ago, science, art, t technology, to think about that and just make a, create a parallel universe. After reading about World War I, or as the politicians would call it, the war to end all wars, and I was thinking about history and I was thinking about artists and how do artists fight you know, the slings and arrows of life. And I, I ended up making this huge cannon. It kind of looks like a, a Flash Gordon cannon. It's been fascinating to see how the artists have reimagined our nation's weaponry. And to top it all off, working with Bruce Rosenbaum on this project has been a real pleasure for the museum. And he's coming up with pieces, new artists are coming up with pieces, and that combined with our collections will make a really dynamic experience.